Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for February 22nd, 2019. So Tuesday, yesterday we had a little bit of, well, first another a big gap up and a run up, but all of a sudden we had a little bit of pressure come into the market just a little bit of selling came into the market as we approach these resistance levels and I've been warning about this for a while um, there's nothing wrong with this chart as you can see we're still in an upward trend we have not failed that trend but we are seeing just a little bit of stress as we push toward these resistance levels after um, well over 10 weeks we're in our 11th week of this rally and maybe just a little rest is in order that doesn't necessarily mean that we have to fall um, it could simply mean a little rest a little consolidation you know a healthy market will commonly pull back or consolidate take a look at 2017 in 2017 where we had just an extraordinarily strong bullish market we had long periods of consolidation consolidation periods that lasted um, a month and sometimes a little bit more and pullbacks and more rests all the way up during that period of 2017 and that big run-up that we had in the market I want you to take a pretty close notice of how straight up this move has been we did get a little tiny pullback right in here but other than that the Dow is up about 45 not quite but almost 4,500 points in uh, 10 weeks in a day so a little bit of rest would not be out of the question as a matter of fact it would be a healthy sign for the market so don't be too disappointed if we do see a little bit of rest now adding to that pressure this morning would be um, Home Depot Home Depot earnings missing this morning and that's adding a little bit of pressure to those Dow futures and you can see we're, as of right this moment we're only down about 84 points um, um, on the on the day Dow futures um, the um, bulls are already working to try and defend these uh, this pullback this morning we've been down over a hundred points in the future so far this morning and who knows um, with some of the things on the calendar today we could still slip lower but please understand there's nothing here that's really really bearish yet just little warning signs signs to be just a little bit cautious let's take a look at the spy as SPY. Same situation here, pressing against this triple top resistance right here and just suggesting that maybe we need to take a little bit of break, maybe back up, maybe consolidate a little bit, just something to um, to rest. Um, you can see we had these triple top highs in here we ran up there and kissed that level and now pulling back but also keep in mind we're still trending nothing wrong here in this chart yet just a little bit of warning sign a little bit of caution remember profit taking is a good thing profit taking testing and building support levels is a good thing that's what we want to see the market do that's what gives us a very um high probability trades if we just run up without any kind of rest or pullback then we run into that that chance that we could really stumble and 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 roll back down that hill a long ways that's not what we want to see we want to see that consolidation that little bit of rest let's take a look at the cues the cues Popped through a resistance level yesterday, but didn't do it confidently. Popped back up there. We did end up by the end of the day holding above that little support area, but we're showing just that little bit of weariness this morning that we may slip right back below that. So the cues probably have my biggest concern right now in the cues of any kind of a pullback. And as you can see, we're still doing well here. Our trend is up. Everything is good. We're just testing out these resistance levels and we're just going to have to uh, maybe back up and get a little bit of a rest before we can push on through. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM also 
holding in its trend, doing very, very well. But same thing is true, just kind of smacking into a little bit of resistance up here and possibly needing a little bit of rest uh, in this extraordinary run that we've had in the market. Let's take a quick look at the VIX. I mentioned yesterday we'd want to watch the VIX in case it started to pop up. And this is actually a fairly substantial move up yesterday on um, a market that still gained value. So kind of keep an eye on that today. If, if fear starts creeping in here just a little bit, we could see this pop up into this area. Remember, that's a nice price resistance area. We're going to want to see that um, hold as resistance in the VIX. If we pop above there, we could see some, uh, uh, well, some selling coming into the market that could be a little bit rougher than what we would want to see. So kind of keep an eye on that. Um, if we take a look at T2122, whoops. T2122, that four week new high, new low ratio. As you can see here, we are very extended in this market. And we have been for some time. So what that means is we could stay very extended for some time. Um, there's nothing in, a, in the T2122 indicator that suggests that we're, we're, we have to fall. We could just consolidate. So kind of keep that in mind, but also keep in mind that it is showing us the possibility of a pullback. So watch that closely because anything is possible up here and if if the selling um, starts to pick up today you know we could move quickly to the downside because we just haven't had a rest for for quite a while just profit taking coming in so watch that carefully um, we are a bit overextended and if we look at other indicators like t2108 um, t2108 has shown that we just have this massive extension here on this move and we've done that before and we can bounce around up here but please keep in mind that we are considerably stretched and a pullback should not be a big surprise in the market let's take a look at um, that economic calendar today we have quite a bit going on on the calendar here uh, first off first thing this morning uh, before the market opens here in just a little while we're going to get that housing starts number let's hope that housing starts number does much better than the existing home sales number uh, did last week because we had a little bit of a stumble last week the bulls picked that right back up in hopes of the trade deal but pretty interesting um, that uh, um, housing sales are starting to show some stress so we'll want to keep an eye on that number this morning um, we have the case Shiller report um, that can move the market not likely of course we have the feds uh, chair speaking today so that is always something to kind of pay attention to and then consumer confidence coming in after that other than that, not much going on here in the calendar. We have about 200, over 200 companies reporting earnings today. And I already mentioned, you know, Home Depot having missed. Um, we're going to have to pay attention to those earnings reports as they continue to roll out this morning because they will have an effect on the overall market. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube. Click the follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. You guys are so awesome. Uh, those of you that take the time to do that. Remember, my intention, I, 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 making money on these videos is not what this is about. I'm not trying to make money on these videos. It's it's, it's about sharing that information. You know, everyone, I believe being prepared and thinking about what the market could do for the day, looking at all the different aspects is more important than about anything else. It sets your tone on how you approach the market for the day. So if you look at the and look at that ch these charts without a bias to uh, to the market itself. We don't want to have a bias. We want to look and see what the price action of the chart is telling us. And if you find that helpful, 
um, as, as many folks do, please do me a favor, share this video with any friends and family, post it, post it on Facebook, share it with as many folks as you can. We're, we're working hard to grow this channel and give, um, folks, um, a, a better sense of the overall market and a better way maybe to approach the market so as to not just always be caught. Um, unprepared. So think about that. And if you uh, feel willing to do that, I would certainly appreciate it. Now, having said that, let's jump in and take a look at some charts that could be setting up for potential trades. Um, I will let you know that I, I, um, um, I, I am considering some short positions. I did pick up a little short position on GILD yesterday. Um, it's in a downtrend failing at price resistance here. Um, so I'm, I am picking up a little bit of short uh, short trades here, but nothing, nothing major, um, just offsetting some longs. I'm already short here in Coca-Cola with an option trade up, up about 25% at the end of yesterday. And, um, I may be taking profits on this today, tomorrow, something like that on Coca-Cola. But other than that, there are good charts setting up to the long side. Let's take a look at WMT. Now, WMT isn't ready yet. As you can see, we popped on earnings, a very strong earnings report popped up here. And now we've had that nice little pullback down in here. Um, if we can move this over toward this trend, I wouldn't be all that surprised to see some buyers step up in here at any time. As long as the market doesn't really swing lower, Walmart um, has that opportunity to kind of set up in here. So we'll want to keep an eye on, on that. SWKS, SWKS continues to consolidate. And what's nice about this chart is it's consolidating right straight across this little level of price support. As long as we can hold in here, uh, we could be in pretty good shape. And please keep in mind, this trend line in here could move around um, just a little bit. So watch that. Um, if the market needs to rest, it could affect SWKS. But that's still a pretty nice chart and one I want to pay attention to. Um, you might want to take a look at 3M. 3M has broken a downtrend, moved through proven it can hold up here and now moving over toward its trend 3m looking pretty good you might want to keep an eye on that that's that's hanging in there really really nicely um also take a look at some of the retail retail trying to show some good signs with target holding on to this really nice trend moving up you can see i have a price alert on the chart right in here and what i like about this chart is that possibility that that could move up here and fill that gap. So that's still looking um, really, really strong. Take a look at stocks like uh, BABA. BABA having broken through some major resistance areas, any rest, any consolidation, any pullback could set up an opportunity. So let this come on back, let it rest. There may be opportunities in a chart like BABA. Same thing would be true of, of several stocks out there in, in that Chinese um, area because they're looking pretty darn strong. Take a look at AMD, AMD moving up well. Um, popped up yesterday and getting a little bit of a pullback any kind of rest over in here that holds up here AMD still has a potential so lots of good charts out there lots of trades that you could potentially key in on and uh, nothing really here just yet to fear in the market all right but if you're thinking about a little bit of protection um, in the market there are um, a few of those trades starting to show up, like I mentioned, uh, Coca-Cola um, showing up as a, a little bit of a short um, GALD. And there are, of course, um, others out there to pay attention to. So with that, everyone, hey, have an awesome, awesome day. I understand if you're struggling as a trader, sometimes it just feels like um, the market is just overwhelming, like there's no way to, to make money consistently in the market. If if you're feeling that way, I want to really encourage you to stick with the hard work that it takes to become um, um, a trader. You know, um, having um, finally reached that myself, it, it, it took so many years of struggle 
and education and work and and discipline building and character building and everything to get here but believe me on this if an old carpenter can figure it out i know you can too and if there's anything we can do to help uh, please look us up we'd love to help you um, try to improve your trading and 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 work through some of those details i can tell you sometimes all it takes is just a little bit of help a little bit of tweaking to what you're doing to improve your trading so never be afraid to change always be willing to look for that new way to just twist just a little tiny tweak can make a massive difference in your trading results so get the help if you need it never give up on yourself keep working really really hard and believe me it is worth it um, once you get that opportunity to be able to trade full-time for a living. Everyone take care of yourself. Have an awesome day. We'll talk to you all bright and early Wednesday morning. Take care.